Hi, this is Nick on the 20th of September, continuing this week's theme of uh, the power of inspired branding and thinking of ourselves as a brand. And I just want to say, you know, I do, you know, I'm not trying to confine us to thinking of ourselves as a brand, but just as a brand, as a way of expressing who we are and our calling and our, our qualities out into the world, you know, expressing the best of us. So today I just want to touch on this idea of, you know, your brand is you at your best. And I think there's two ways of approaching this, you know, and I've certainly tried both of them. The first way is that we think we have to kind of manufacture a best, if you like, because I guess we probably, and I've certainly doubted this, that, that I really do have a best, you know, that I really do have genuine strengths and, and brilliance in me uh, that I can access at least occasionally or some of the time. Um, so when we don't feel in touch with our natural best, if you like, our authentic and genuine best, our pre-existing best, you know, the, the essence of who we already are, when we're out of touch with that, we think we then have to manufacture something to replace that. So we come up with this invented best. I like the word invented. So we go, right, if I look like this, then I'm going to be successful and people are going to like me and it's all going to work out fine and it won't end in tears. So, so many brands are invented bests, if you like. Um, and they can work, you know. And I don't think they're as powerful as the second option, which is really to, to know our true strengths, to know the heart of who we are, if you like, our, our soul, our essence, who we really are, and to let that shine through, uh, to know what our best qualities are, to know what our gifts are, to know what we are truly competent and capable of. When we know those things about ourselves, when we have a degree of self-awareness, we can simply feature that in our brand and say, you know, I've been doing this for 10 years, 20 years, whatever. I know I'm good at doing it. I've got good results. So I'm not showing off. I'm just showing up. I'm just letting you know what I'm good at doing uh, because I've been doing it for a lot of people over a period of time and I've got good at doing it. So to me, that's what a true brand does. It, it just conveys and communicates what you know about yourself already. Um, so that's today's thought. Don't try and invent a best. Don't try and manufacture a best. Get to know you at your best. And, and sometimes we need some help with that. I've certainly needed help with it. And something I've done over the years is actually I've asked people to tell me what they think me at my best looks like. And, and that's been really helpful. And also what I do now is I, I often ask people at the end of coaching conversations or talks, I say to them, what, is, what have you found valuable about this? What has been the value for you? so that I can translate my best qualities into the value that other people derive from them. Because obviously, ultimately, our brand is an act of service. It's not just about us saying, this is me. It's about, this is me, and this is what I can do with you or for you, and what we can do together. So I hope that's helpful. God bless. Have a good rest of your day. Bye-bye.